title of the first section is solving by substitution. This question will take two equations and solve for the variables by substitution. First equation, x equals 8 minus 2y. And second equation, 1 half x minus y equals 18. To solve these equations by substitution, we'll take one equation and substitute it inside the other equation. For example, if we have eight, if we have x equals eight minus two y, eight minus two y is equal to x, which means we can substitute that into the second equation in place of x. Rewriting the second equation, we'll have one half, but instead of x, we'll substitute eight minus two y, and then the rest of the equation minus y equals eighteen. By substituting for x, we have eliminated or substituted out the x, and now we can just solve for the single variable y. The 1 half gets distributed to the parentheses. 1 half of 8 would be 4, and 1 half of negative 2 would be negative 1 or negative 1y. Minus y equals 18. Combining like terms, negative 1y minus y would be negative 2y. And subtracting 4 on both sides, negative 2y equals 14. Dividing, and we get our first answer, y equals negative 7. To get our second answer, we know what y is equal to, we want to find out what x is. Looking back at the original question, the first equation was x equals 8 minus 2y. Now we know y is equal to negative 7, we can plug a negative 7 in for y and solve for x. x equals 8, negative 2 times negative 7 would be positive 14 and x equals 22. So our two answers, x equals 22 and y equals negative seven. Title of the last section today is more substitution problems. In this section, we'll continue to solve using substitution. First equation is 2x plus y equals 4. Second equation is 3x plus y equals 8. To solve this by substitution, you want to isolate one variable first. So you have either y equals or x equals. To solve by isolating, one step you could subtract 3x on the second equation. That way the 3x will be canceled and you'd have y by itself. So y would equal, putting the negative 3x first, y equals negative 3x plus 8. Once you have a variable isolated, y equals negative 3x plus 8. We can take this expression, plug it into the other equation that we have not used, and substitute for that variable. So the first equation, 2x, but instead of y, we'll have negative 3x plus 8. 
and equals 4. Make sure when you substitute that you substitute into the other equation that you did not use and never plug it back into the original equation that you used for substitution. Solving this question, 2x minus 3x will be negative x plus 8 equals 4. Subtracting 8, negative x equals negative 4. And dividing by negative 1, x would equal positive 4. Again, you have two answers for substitution questions. Taking x equals 4, we can plug it back into either question at the beginning, or we can also use the equation that we used to substitute. So in this case, y would equal negative 3x, but we can plug a 4 in for the x. So negative 3 times 4, and plus 8. Simplifying negative 3 times 4 is negative 12 plus 8, so y equals negative 4. When we have x equals 4 and y equals negative 4, a different way to write that same solution would be to use a point, x comma y, or 4 comma negative 4. What this point represents is if you graph the two equations, the two equations would cross at 4 comma negative 4. Second question and last question for this section. 3a minus 2b equals negative 1. And second equation 4a plus b equals 17. Again, solving by substitution, we want to isolate either the a or the b in either equation. The easiest one to isolate would be the b in the second equation by subtracting 4a. So b would equal negative 4a plus 17. Substitution, b equals negative 4a plus 17. We use the second equation to come up with this expression. So we'll plug this one into the equation we did not use, the first equation. You can always substitute into a different equation rather than the expression that you got from the equation. Solving the first equation is 3a minus 2. Instead of b, we'll substitute negative 4a plus 17 and equals negative 1. Solving, distribute the negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 4, positive 8, 8. And negative 2 times a positive 17, negative 34. 3a plus 8a is 11a. Minus 34 equals negative 1. Add 33 to both sides. 11a equals negative 1 plus 33 plus 34 would equal 33. Dividing by 11 and a equals 3. Solving again for b to get our second answer, we can take a equals 3, plug it into either of the original questions, or we can also plug it in to an equation that we used for substitution. In this case, b equals negative 4a, which is negative 4 times 3, plus 17. b equals negative 12, plus 17 or b equals 5. Again, you can leave your answers as a equals 3, b equals 5, or if you want to, you can use a point. Normally it's x comma y. When you have different variables, you'll put the alphabetical order first. So a would go first, which is 3, 
and B would go second, which is 5. So you'd have 3, comma 5.